Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Cherise Gibson and I'm Katie Moore. Happening now, at least one other gunman is still on the run after a shooting outside of a high school graduation on a university campus. It happened last night at Southeastern Louisiana University in Hammond. Now we brought you live to the scene as it was breaking last night on the Outwitness News at 10. Hammond's police say that they have already arrested one suspect in the case. Three people were shot. One is still in the hospital with non-life threatening injuries. Now Hammond's police chief says 20 year old Trent Thomas and a juvenile got into some sort of a fight, pulled guns, and started shooting at each other in the crowd. Right now we're investigating uh, possible gang affiliation um, uh, of, of sorts. We're not 100% positive on that, but that is definitely a potential. There was one high school graduation at the university tonight, and two more are scheduled this weekend. There will be extra police there for those ceremonies. And new tonight, Mike McDaniel spoke with one of the graduates from last night and the people who were there supporting her. Less than 24 hours after that shooting, the spotlight is on another graduation ceremony here at Southeastern's University Center. It was a much different spotlight for the family members, friends, and students who were here the night before. This is the um, graduation invitation. A graduation Bethany Drack was excited for part of Hammond High School's class of 2022. I was so nervous, like I cried that morning, like telling my mom, I was like, I don't know if I'm ready. Drag says it was a picture perfect graduation. Her parents, best friend, boyfriend, and boyfriend's mom all there to celebrate her. But once she had her diploma, <sighs> celebration turned to chaos. It's shooting at graduation. We just hear the pow, pow, pow. In a crowded parking lot after the ceremony, police say two people started shooting at each other but ended up shooting three bystanders. One alleged shooter was arrested. Police are still searching for the other. The only thing I knew to do was to push my son and his girlfriend and just tell them to run. And that's all I could do was just tell them to run. Tasha Kamile, the mother of Drag's boyfriend, says their group was just feet away from the first shots. Just the thought to know that, you know, within a split second, you know, my child, you know, my, my son's girlfriend, you know, her friend, any, any person, you know, could have been killed. Just hearing it traumatized me. I can't like get that sound in my head now. Trying to get away, Drag fell, her face hitting the concrete. I went to the graduation happy, all kind of makeup, beautiful, coming home with blood dripping down my clothes, hands. That's a memory Drag's boyfriend, Lucius Way, wishes he could erase. It's heartbreaking knowing that she has to live with the with live with this her entire life. Knowing how lucky they are, Drag holds on to the good memories from graduation, but says the bad are still haunting. Shooting, pow, 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 like, that's all you gotta think about. Security is being enhanced for the three remaining weekend graduation ceremonies here at the University Center. Once they are over, the university will review protocols and safety measures for events moving forward. Reporting from Hammond, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.